Really splendid, Meredith. It's really fine. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, pardon. Hello. Hello, John. Hello, Daddy. When are you coming down? I can't make it tonight, John. I'm working on a new invention. Oh, inventions now. Well, what is it? Secret. Oh. Right now, I'm all alone in my lab. I've got a good chance to finish it. Where's Snooks? Fast asleep, thank heaven. Well, why don't you know what happens? I think I can guess. Good night, Daddy. Good night, John. I wonder how long Snooks will stay asleep. Oh, if this works, I'll be rich. No more slaving at that broken-down job. Headlines in the papers. Scientific world revolutionized by Lancelot Higgins. Ha-ha, how was that? Ha-ha, no good. <laughs> Snooks. Oh, Daddy. How did you get here? The stock brought me. <laughs> Never mind those corny jokes. Go back to bed. I can't sleep, Daddy. Why not? Because it's too dark and I'm scared. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> Robespierre is younger than you are, and he's not afraid to sleep in the dark. Well, why does he cry? When he wakes up crying, it's not because he's scared. It's because he gets twisted up and I have to change his position. Yeah, and you have to change his... That has nothing to do with... <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't propose to stand here and argue with you. I want you to return to your bedroom and go to sleep. Can I leave the line on? I should say not. There's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. How do you know? I've told you time and again, the angels are in your room, watching over you. I ain't seen any angels. Just the same, they're in your room. Flying around? Yes. Do they bite? I guess so. Well, one of them bit me. Well, bite it back. Now, leave my laboratory at once. You've been working in here all day, Daddy. I know I have. There's something important I must finish tonight. Are you going to make another cup of coffee? Of course not. I'm inventing a new type of x-ray that will make medical diagnoses infallible. Do you know what that means? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Uh-huh. What does it mean? I don't know. I thought so. Well, I didn't expect you to understand, but all I can tell you is if it's successful, we'll be living on Easy Street. Are we going to move? No. But a good invention always makes a man rich. Look at the fellow who invented the safety pin. He made a fortune. Did he? Certainly. And the man who invented a little piece of candy, like the lifesaver. What do you think he made? A mint. <laughs> exactly. In more ways than one. The invention is good, it catches on, and you never have to worry again. What did you invent, Daddy? <laughs> An instrument that reveals the internal organs of a person in their true colors. Have I got an organ inside of me? Well, of course. Everybody has. I want to play it. No. <laughs> I want to play it. No. It's not the kind of organ you play. These organs are functional. Have you any idea what's inside of you? A fish. No, there's no fish inside of you. Well, what happened to the one I had for dinner? I don't mean that. I'm talking about your skeleton. Did you ever see a skeleton? No. Oh, sure. Don't you remember that bony thing that hangs in the doctor's office? I thought that was his wife. <laughs> The other bony thing, you remember. Oh, you mean that man with his outside off and his inside stick out? That. Well, you have one of those inside of you. Huh? Oh, yes. So have I. And Mummy. And Robespierre. We all have those skeletons inside of us. Uncle Louis, too? Yes, Uncle Louis, too. It runs in our family, don't it? It runs in everybody's family. Every person is nothing but a skeleton with padding on it. Uncle Louie's got a lot of padding Uncle on Louis it. Uncle Louie has a very strong chest. I wasn't going to... Now, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, my x-ray pierces that outer padding and reveals the internal picture of the body in perfect color. Yeah? Yes. If you behave, I'll let you watch the first test. I have a little guinea pig in that small box on the bench. I want to see him. Very well. Take the lid off. All right, Daddy. Mmm. Oh, well, ain't it? Well, that's funny. Mm. There was only one in there a minute ago. <laughs> now there's seven. Mmm. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> now close up the box. For another minute? 
No, just leave it closed. Guinea pigs are very prolific. They multiply rapidly. Can they add? <laughs> no. It takes a snake to be an adder. <laughs> very funny, isn't it? Yeah. Corny, too. It... Oh, what do you know? Open that lid again. The minute ain't up, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly. There are seven <laughs> guinea pigs in there, and that's all there will be. Unless a miracle happens, open the box. All right. It happened, Daddy. Well, I'll be darned. Is there nine or ten? There's eleven. Huh? Snooks. When you came into this room, I swear there was only one guinea pig in that box. Now there's eleven. I'll have to dispose of those things before they overrun the house. Now, you go to bed. Mm, I want to see the x-ray. In the morning, I'll please leave me alone. No. Snooks, will you go to bed if I give you this nice, new, shiny dime? No, but I might go for a greasy old dollar. <laughs> Here's another penny. Now you've got 11 cents, so run along. All right, Daddy. Will you tell me the x-ray in the morning? Yes. I'll even test it on you. Will it hurt? No, not a bit. Remember the time you swallowed a marble? Mm-hmm. And the doctor put up that machine in the tummy and located it? Yeah. Oh, that's all I'll do. Do it now. But you haven't swallowed anything. Yes, I have, Daddy. What do you mean? The dime's gone. Snooks. I swallowed it. Oh, no. You didn't swallow that dime. No. Well, don't get excited, Daddy. You didn't swallow that dime. No, it was only the penny. Oh. <laughs> Quick, come to the kitchen. You have to eat some dry bread. No, I want cake. Dry bread. Can I have some jam on it? Yes. What kind? Any kind. Come on. Can I have strawberry jam on it? Yes, yes. I don't like strawberry jam. <laughs> Snooks, don't stand there arguing. We've got to do something. Put the x-ray on me. All right. For once in my life, let the thing work. Lie down, Snooks. Oh, don't hurt me. No. Now hold this plate close. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn on the battery and turn out the lights. Mm. Can you see anything, Daddy? It's a little fuzzy, but... Wait a minute. It works. There's the penny. Where? Right there, where I've got my finger. I can see its circular outline as plain as day. You mean this? Yes, that's the penny. That's a button on my pajamas. What? Well, where's the penny? I got it in my hand. The dime, too. Then you didn't swallow anything. No. Does the x-ray work, Daddy? No. It's no good. Ain't we going to be rich? I'm afraid not. Go to bed, Snooks. Do you feel bad, Daddy? Pretty bad. Would you feel better if you spanked me? <laughs> No, I don't like to spank you. Just please go to bed and leave me alone. Here's your 11 cents back, Daddy. I don't want it. I think you'll need it to buy a bigger box. Bigger box? What for? There's 15 guinea pigs now. Oh, good night. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Daddy. 